Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. It's back, baby. That's the Constitution for Dummy series. We're gonna have a home run with the 11th Amendment. What are you doing watching a video about the 11th Amendment? Nobody knows the 11th Amendment. But you're gonna. Giddy up for the learning, here we go. All right, short and sweet, guys. This amendment really is great if you're talking about federalism. Let's read the 11th Amendment and then we'll break it down like it can't get far. The judicial power of the United States shall not be construed to extend to any suit in law or equity commenced or prosecuted against one of the United States by citizens of another state or by citizens or subjects of any foreign state. So those words are directly uh, being written to reverse something that's in the Constitution. Um, in Article 3, Section 2 of the Constitution, the Supreme Court has given certain powers called original jurisdiction, where they're allowed to hear certain types of cases. And uh, one of those cases was when a citizen of one state would sue another state. And the Supreme Court had the power, according to themselves, Article 3, Section 2, to hear that case. So in a sense, it's really kind of diluting the power of the state. The state's not protected against, basically, lawsuits from private citizens of other states. What are you doing? What are you punking me? I'm a state. I'm immune. So we have a Supreme Court case in 1793. It's called Chisholm versus Georgia. And it's really one of the first big star cases to hit the Supreme Court. Really early on in the Republic's history. We're still under like Washington times and such. Um, but in this court case, um, Chisholm uh, was suing Georgia for money that Georgia owed that him from debts occurred during the Revolutionary War. So he was all like, I'm gonna take you to court, boy. And it ended up in the Supreme Court. Georgia was all like, I ain't even showing up because I'm immune. I'm a sovereign. I should be immune. I'm a state. And my state shouldn't have to even answer to this ridiculous charge. Well, Georgia lost. So immediately Congress was like, what up with that? So they went down the road of amending the Constitution. So in a sense, the federal government was exercising its Article 3, Section 2 powers by saying we have the ability to hear these court cases, to in a sense have the ability to put our thumb on the state. And maybe um, people were fearful that the federal government would you know, use that power, its judicial power, to uh, really go after uh, state actions. So the states respond by amending it with Congress's approval, 1795. Uh, the the 11th Amendment hits the books. It reverses Chisholm versus Georgia. So forevermore, if you're a citizen of New York, you can't sue New Jersey. And the courts have even interpreted it to mean that you can't even sue your own state. And certainly foreign country citizens can't sue Alabama. So in a sense, it's a win for the states. There you go. That's the 11th Amendment. I don't even know what else to say except click my face and subscribe because you win a free pony. Don't you want a free pony? I jest. Where attention goes, energy flows, guys. We'll see you next time when you do the teaching on the YouTubes.